in this first video we will be adding the reference images that we'll use to model our house but before we do that we have to first of all set the um, set some settings in the 3ds max first of all we have to set the project folder so um, i will create a new folder house tutorial you can give it whatever name you want okay select it click ok then we have to go into customize unit setup and make sure we have centimeters selected in uh, both tabs here and here then we want to go into customize and into preferences and make sure we have gamma 2.2 selected input gamma 1 and output gamma 1 click OK um, and the next thing that I usually do is I go into viewport configuration and I choose a layout with only one viewport click apply ok mm. now we can uh, bring up the material editor if you have the old material editor which looks like this just go into modes and select slate material editor now I want to create a new material, a V-Ray material, V-Ray material. And if you can't see V-Ray material in this uh, menu, just uh, press F10 on the keyboard. And from the Assign Renderer uh, menu, make sure you have V-Ray Advanced here. You have to select it from the list and you will click OK. And then V-Ray materials will appear here all right um, now let's right click and uh, get a bitmap and i'm gonna go in the folder where i downloaded my um, my images my plans i will provide the link in the description so you can download them as well click open let's connect it to the diffuse slot let's minimize this material and let's call it ground floor all right let's minimize the material editor let's make a plane and um, let's uh, get rid of these these segments because we don't need them all right let's bring back the material editor and let's apply this material to uh, to our plane all right we have to select the bitmap and check show shaded material in viewport to see our map all right um, now i want to rotate it 90 degrees but first of all i have to toggle on angle snap okay so I rotated 90 degrees because I want the entrance to be to be uh, in this part. So when I go into the front view, I will I will see the the, the entrance. Uh, all right. Now I have to make sure that my uh, my image has the right proportions because as you can see now it's a little bit stretched on this axis so uh, in order to make sure that it has uh, exactly the right proportions i have to check the images properties and uh, um, modify the plane length and width according to um, the image the, the the image dimensions so i will go into my image properties and here I can see its dimensions and I have to put this in my plane dimensions so it's uh, one okay just copy those dimensions and put it put them here Maybe one. all right I have to switch them just copy paste and all right good we have the first the first floor is in place just shift drag to 
to make another plane that we'll use for the first floor go into shaded mode bring back the material editor select this material shift and drag to copy it double click on the bitmap and let's select the um, first floor image okay select the plane assign the material double click on the bitmap and check show shaded in viewport and let's rename it first floor all right we have to again check the dimensions for the first floor so i will go back and properties 1150 by 1132 okay now we have to match the ground floor with the first floor plane so to do to do so i will create a box right here let's select the box and the ground floor right click and isolate selection and now i want to make sure that this box sits in this corner great and now i want to select the top floor and move it so the corner from the bottom from the ground floor is the same as the corner for the first floor all right let's copy the box here so we'll match the other corner right here okay now we have to scale the the top floor so this uh, this side of the house will be a, as long as the bottom side of the house and to do so if we go right now into the scale uh, tool start scaling it will scale from the center of the of the plane from the pivot point and we want to to scale from this point so we have to first of all move the pivot point go into the hierarchy tab go into effect pivot top view and let's move the pivot right here all right now before exiting this command i want to go into the scale tool first of all and uh, now i'm telling max that the scaling pivot has also been moved not just the move pivot so uncheck this box and we can start scaling all right i can zoom in and just using this menu I can make sure that it's almost the same dimension great okay now we can rotate this plane and holding shift to copy it all right and now we can assign to this plane the um, front view material go into the material editor again and uh, let's select here the front view this is it check show shaded material in viewport let's rename it front view all right um, another way to apply the material is um, um, now by default you don't have that window right there that I just had so you can right click on the material and uh, click open preview window and it will bring up this pre preview window with our material and we can uh, drag and drop it in this arrow right here and uh, usually what I do is I check follow current selection here and whenever I click I double click on a material it will bring that material in my uh, uh, preview here so I can double click on the front view and I can just drag and drop it on my object and it's there 
All right, we have to rotate it. Okay. And we have to check its dimensions once again. Let me see. So, 808. All right. Great. And I think we have to scale this one as well. Yes, because this point has to be here. So I will go into front view, effect pivot, remove the pivot here. Let me see. All right. Go into the scaling tool. So the scale pivot is also moved. And now, if I scale it, I can zoom in here, and that should be okay. All right, looks okay. Let's move it a little bit up. All right. Now let's copy it again, and this one will be our um, back view. All right. So we have uh, the front view, let's copy it, shift drag, let's select the back view, let's rename it, back view, alright, double click on the map, show shaded material in viewport, and let's drag and drop it on our material, okay, let's check its dimensions, sorry, is uh, 806 okay so 806 here all right we have to rotate it 180 degrees all right let's match the this line with this line good now let's isolate selection go into the front view go into effect pivot and move the pivot right here all right go into the scaling tool first i'm uh, clicking r on my keyboard to go into the scaling tool and e to go into the rotation tool and w for the move tool so now the scaling pivot is here I right, can right click and uncheck isolate selection and let's move it a little bit back we have to scale it up a little bit okay let's zoom in and use this menu to be more accurate all right let's bring it up a little bit that looks okay and now we can check that uh, these two points align so to do so I'm going to box and select auto grid and I will sorry I will create a box here something like that and move it back and as you can see they align perfectly almost maybe I have to bring this down a little bit yeah all right let's actually bring both up so that this line here is sits on the on the ground floor okay great now um, I have to rename each of the plane according to its assigned material. So the first one is round. This one is first floor. This one is front. And this one is back view. And now we 
can save our scene. So go into this menu, save as, and you will uh, see that the path in which it is saved is by default under the folder that we created earlier. So I'm going to call this uh, lesson one and click save. All right, that's it. See you in the next lesson. Bye bye.